Thank you. Hi, welcome. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to make food in a tank when you are out in the, in the field during a maneuver. And I started off as a platoon commander on a Centurion tank in 1984 at the Södermalan regiment. And to give it a bit more of the right feeling, I have brought some kit. My uniform that I last wore in, hmm, I think it was 94 when I was a tank company commander um, in also a Centurion tank. And, oh shit. Um, it has been shrinking a bit, but, um, but nevertheless, uh, this is the Swedish tank uniform, um, M69P, and together with that, my beret that I had from 1984 till 1994, every day in 10 years. So it has a lot of grease and uh, other disgusting things on the inside, but that's, that's how it is. Together with uh, the uniform, you also always had the binoculars to spot the enemy. And you had a short string to have it very close to your eyes. But I will get back to that a bit later. When you are in the tank, you have to have some sort of a communication system so you have the internal communication where you can talk to the crew members and also on the radio this is connected into a box in the tank this is the throat microphone which you place like that and the helmet like that. So you have two buttons for in internal communication and for the radio. So this is the standard equipment that you had every day, 24 hours a day for a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on the type of exercise. So um, now we're going to show you a bit about cooking. So I switched to a more comfortable uniform, not uh, the proper one, but uh, one that fits. Um, it was 25 years last I used that uniform. Hmm. Don't understand what happened during that time. Well, back in the commander's position on the Centurion Mark 10 with a petrol engine in the back. We'll get back to that later and this is where you live all day long and you have to try to survive the best you can. You have water with you and your personal uh, water can uh, that's more or less for emergency purpose if something happens you always had extra water within the tank in plastic containers. You also had the, the cup which you could use for coffee, tea, chocolate, whatever. And uh, later we were just issued with these foldable cups which was very handy to have and drink coffee. And if it's somewhere in, in the bottom of it, it doesn't matter because you just fold it and put it in the pocket so it doesn't spill perfect for combat use. Coffee and tea. And of course, uh, when you're in this position and it's combat all the time, you need to be able to be on the run so you can, whenever it happens, it comes, comes orders from above, you have to tell the driver forward and then you 
people have to pack it up and eat as best as you can. So you always carry some candy, Swedish famous Algens Bila in the pocket. And you had also nickel and uh, chocolate, uh, whatever you could get hold of. We always had on the tank company, we had a supply unit where you could buy this stuff during the move that you can fill up with sugar so you didn't die and of course within the supply system you had um, the famous panza cakes the armor crackers which were very good but a bit hard that's why the name of it and these are made i think it's 91 uh, found them together with the rest of the stuff in my my house so I have a small museum kept just in case and of course um, the liver pate and these small containers you have to have the can opener to open it up and then you take a biscuit and then grab eat and uh, once very young I was I found out that you could also use candy and grab with live pate. Different taste, but try it. You might like it. Of course, um, there was also coffee and tea. And myself, I had this emergency package, which contains some coffee and sugar, which I used during those, those days in the army. Um, I cannot find any best before. So I guess these might be from the last company exercise in 94. Uh, I think so. Still probably very good to have if it's gonna be total lockdown in, in Sweden this year. And as an emergency kit, you always had the emergency food, which is something that you shouldn't eat too much because uh, they're very rich on energy. And if you eat too much, the stomach will say, no, that was not a good idea. So you have to eat a bit at a time and to combine it with water. Otherwise, you would be sick. Um, Plate as chocolate, quite good. Um, these are from also 91, I think, um, probably still perfect to use. Um, how to make coffee? Well, I will show you. <clears throat> this is the most important equip piece of equipment in the tank, the water boiling vessel. Without this, you would die. And this was something that came along with the Centurion tanks to Sweden in the 1950s. And we've used them in the Centurion tank, in the S tank, in the Leopard 2, and also in IKV 91. Wonderful kit of uh, piece of equipment. So how to use this? You have a, a lid, a cable, where you connect it to the, uh, to the tank. And it's electrical power, and I'm, I'm not really sure, but I think it was 700 watts, so uh, 0.7 kilowatts, which is uh, quite a lot. So you need to have the generator or uh, the main engine running, otherwise it would die the batteries. So here you pour the water and connect it for a few minutes and you have cooking water used for coffee, tea or anything. Of course you could use this to cook um, sausage, whatever inside, but we normally didn't do that because then you had to clean the fucking thing as, and that was really, really nasty. So we, in my, my uh, company we used it only for cooking water and cook the food, we had other solutions which I will show you. 
Okay, um, cooking food, proper food. We had cans, different kinds of um, food, pea soup, uh, sausages, uh, different kinds. And uh, some of them you could uh, eat as they were without heating them, uh, but you should heat them because otherwise the stomach would say, mm, that was not a good idea. Uh, this is Laps Kois, uh, which is um, my, one of my favorites. We also had uh, small sausages, like small fingers in uh, uh, baked beans. Uh, that was also perfect. Uh, some of you might say, no, taste shit. Uh, well, if you've been out for a week and this is all you get, it's better than nothing. You could cook these with the whole as it is in the boiling vessel. Maybe 15, 20 minutes and then it's ready. But then you need to have that boiling vessel going all the time. And if you were on the run, you had to find another solution. So we invented that you used these cans and put them, four of them for the crew members in this box. Uh, standard issue for the tank. And then you open up the... They were not that heavy 25 years ago, but, well, things change. This is the radiators in the tank. And down here you have a seven, uh, 650 horsepower petrol engine blowing up all the heat through the radiators. So down here it's about 80 degrees, which is perfect. So you put the cans in here, put the box on the radiators, close the hatch again, and then off you go. Half an hour, one hour, doesn't matter. Then you stop, driver, halt, we need to fix the food. So he stops, you get out, open the hutch, pick up the box, which is hot, so you have to have gloves on you, and there it is. And of course you need to have something to hold it because it's hot. And then you pick up the can opener, which is in here somewhere. This is now under pressure because it's hot and cooked, so you need to be careful and open up in a direction so you don't get the into your face. That is terrible hot. You open up it, let go of the pressure, and then you need a set of these, depending on what's inside. Perfect to eat. And the meal's ready. And then off with the empty tin and off you go again. Um, how to clean these? Well, simple. You use, if you had butter on, on the knife like that and also the fork and this you could in the mouth put it together again. Clean and perfect for the next next meal. So this was a perfect solution how to heat your food on the move. Okay, <clears throat> so sometimes you had proper food. Uh, perhaps you could have pea soup, which someone brought to the tank, and you had something to take it with and a spoon to eat it. And I don't remember how many times I have spilled pea soup and other food down into the eyepieces of the binocular. So you had to clean them out of food to be able to spot the enemy. So there was always a lot of it. Instead of like a desk person who has a tie, spill on the tie. Instead I spilled in my binoculars. So that's one of the problems we had out in the field. So um, you have to always be a bit of invention and to find out new things things, how to cook food and how to survive. So I came up with the idea 
the engine is hot, why not use that? And I've heard that in the desert during the Second World War, they used the tank to cook eggs on because it was hot enough. So, hmm, why not use the heat in a better purpose? So, bought some hot dogs. And this is something I used 35 years ago, uh, or whatever. Um, package of hot dogs, some aluminum foil. And this is quite easy. I have to just move myself a bit. So you open up the, this package. And I tried with two. Wrap the in internal foil and you have this perfect. And this is the exhaust of the, of the engine, and they become very, very hot. That's it, the uh, silencer of uh, the engine and the protective cover. So you just squeeze it into here. If it, oh. it did fit in 1984, so it should fit now. Hmm. Have to squeeze it a bit. Well, you squeeze it in and then leave it for 15 20 minutes, depends. Pick it out again, and you have two grilled sausages. Taste perfect. So, this is something you could do at home if you have a Centurion engine. And of course, sometimes you have to do the other part of eating, getting rid of what you have eaten. So you need a shovel, which is on the other side of the tank. And for emergency, you always had the gas mask with you. Always, every time you were somewhere, you had to bring this along. And I think last time I used this was also perhaps 90, 91 or 94, I'm not sure. Um, this is not for, for the fumes, but you can always use it if needed. But in this, you always had something that was the most precious thing in the world. My precious, my precious. The toilet roll. So you always had a toilet roll. Emergency toilet paper. And there was um, once when I was sitting in the tank in the maneuver and a colleague come to the tank and asked me, hey, do you have any paper? Paper? What kind of paper? And he shouted back, any fucking paper? Ah, I see that kind of paper. Tossed him the toilet roll and he ran off to the bushes. So I helped him a lot. So this was cooking in the field and for the Swedish audience I can say det går lika bra med celery. Bye bye.